So I made that video last night about Who Framed Roger Rabbit in the very last scene with the freeway discussion as to why they wanted to destroy Toontown. Great movie. What people don't realize is that the evil company Cloverleaf that's in the movie is actually a stand-in for a company called National City Lines, which was funded by Firestone Tires, General Motors, and National Oil. The company sought to buy out and purchase all of the railways and rail cars in every city across the country, dismantle them, destroy them, and build highways. How would they do such a thing? Well, they lobbied for the Public Utility Hold Company Act in 1935, which ruled that utilities couldn't own up all of the industries. And because the utilities actually owned rail cars in various cities, they were forced to sell off and either do electric or they had to do the rail. So they sold off rail. National City Rail Lines eventually owned 46 different cities' entire transit system. When this happened, they became less profitable because they no longer got the benefit of essentially free electricity from themselves. So the maintenance, the cost of uh, tickets not going up led to decreased profits, which is what GM wanted. And so they began to dismantle and lobby the government for highways. Later, General Motors actually went to court and lost and actually had to pay a total of $5,000 in uh, restitution for what they did. In 1956, the American Highway Act was uh, created, um, putting aside money for 41,000 miles of highway across the country. Guess how many miles of rail was, it, was available at that time? There was 45,000 miles of rail, so there was more rail than highway, and they were going to destroy all that for gas-guzzling cars. These big corporations literally conspired to destroy rail systems, which then built highways through black neighborhoods in most major cities, destroying those too. So next time you watch Who Framed Roger Rabbit, you'll know it's a true story.